What if Ryanair ordered the A380? Ryanair is the world's most frequently flown airline, flying to 37 countries across Europe and Africa, serving 220 destinations with a fleet of 464 Boeing 737-800s and one Boeing 737-700 used for training purposes. Airbus is the manufacturer of the world's largest commercial airplane, the A380. While sales of the Airbus A380 were initially good, with Emirates, for example, having purchased 100 of them and having 50 more on order, sales have since slowed right down. So what if Airbus somehow enticed the world's most popular airline with the world's biggest jet? What would that look like? Firstly, the boarding process would have to be incredibly quick, as this is one of the trademarks of Ryanair. They aim for a turnaround time of just 20 minutes. For an A380, this would mean using multiple jet bridges and grouping passengers into categories depending on where they sit in the plane. Ryanair currently does not offer any variety of seat class and would probably turn this superplane into an all-economy cattle class by fitting over 853 passengers onto the two decks. Ryanair are well known for removing toilets to fit in extra seats and we would expect that this would continue. If the seats are anything like the current Ryanair planes, they would feature only the bare minimum. No tray tables, safety cards glued to the back of the seats and life jackets stowed above. It is possible, however, that Ryanair would also develop a new premium class, much like their competitors with long-haul flights. This would include extra legroom, a meal and perhaps even entertainment. On trips that last longer than five hours, they may have to offer a meal or at least a beverage as these will most likely be required by law. Entertainment systems are already included in the Airbus A380 from the manufacturers themselves, and Ryanair could probably benefit from using these as a new offering on their flights. If they were to keep their low-budget minimalistic approach, Ryanair would probably charge extra for these entertainment options, but then could also expand to offering in-seat service and ordering systems. For example, if a passenger were to select a food item, they could pay for it and ask for it to be delivered all from the back of the seat in front of them. There would be some negatives to Ryanair taking on an A380, and one of those is the fact that Ryanair currently only uses one type of plane, the Boeing 737. By incorporating a new plane into their network from a different manufacturer, they would lose all the economies of scale that they've currently been capitalising on. They would have to train their entire staff on this specific new plane, have a stockpile of spare parts ready and organise maintenance contracts. If they were to take on the A380, where would they fly to? Ryanair currently offers multiple flights along short European routes. However, with an Airbus plane that is so large, this wouldn't really be feasible. The Airbus A380 is limited in the number of airports it can fly to because many airports don't have runways large enough to handle the plane. Emirates, who are the largest A380 airline, only fly to 55 destinations with this plane. Ryanair would be extremely limited in their choice of destinations and would have to find somewhere that is not only big enough to handle the size of the plane, but would also have the passenger demand while still having very little competition. Most likely, what they would have to do is look at long-haul destinations over the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. We would expect routes between major cities like New York and London that could also handle the extra 800 or so seats being added to the marketplace. So, how realistic is this? One of the arguments in favour of this move is the fact that many airlines that have A380s can't sell them on after their terms of service. As seen before with Singapore Airlines, they barely found a buyer for their two retiring A380s. And with more than 100 Airbus A380s on the market that are nearing retirement, they are one of the only private airlines with the capital to afford these planes and could be offered some very nice deals to take them off their competitors' hands. If Ryanair had Airbus A380s instead of their Boeing 737s, their passenger capacity would increase from 189 passengers per plane to around 868 passengers per plane, more than four times the amount but they'd have to be sure to be able to find this amount of customers so as not to potentially cannibalise their own business. There have always been rumours of Ryanair looking across the Atlantic, but whether or not the A380 will be their plane of choice, we will have to wait and see.